नमस्कार दोस्तों वेलकम बैक टू लेट स्क्रो वेरी गुड इवनिंग एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शेयर द ब्रेक सिस्टम एंटर द कोच एंड लोको होप विल हेल्प कंटेंट दैट एज यू नो आई वाज वेरी बिजी फर्स्ट सिक्स मंथ फॉर इनो ट्रांस इवेंट एंड राइट नाउ नाउ आई एम फ्री एंड नेक्स्ट अपकमिंग फ्यू लाइव will be very important more attractive and more interesting content will coming soon so now today's topic as i told the topic is related with brake system how the coach and loco both are interact between these things so let's see the topic so at first if we see this loco you can see this this is wfe5 and here is a transformer okay and beside this transformer you can see this compressor so this is the compressor machine for the air is very important entire loco and coaches the air is basically easily collect from the natural air but need pressure so that's why compressor is used to create external pressure force okay so this compressor is very very important firstly the compressor okay not only coach in this loco there are so many things runs with based on the air and firstly you can see the pantograph the rooftop component of this loco here is the pantograph and you can see this this is a piston unit piston assembly and this one is the push rod okay so this rod help this rod run or works by the piston and piston work by the compressed air so this is the first thing when a loco is standing situation is also called the ground condition so at the first time this panto is very very important to to start the loco so at that time compressor not only this compressor there is a small compressor which is uh, run by the um, small battery 12 volt battery yes so this that mechanism thing i will share later but now the concept the focus is brake system so i skip that part okay if we see the cab view of this loco we can see so this is the cab view and completely you can see this for the brake system there is two very very important things this two lever one is the anion valve and for this one is for loco one is for loco and one is for entire loco and coach that's why two valve for the brake system number 1 only for the loco and number 2 just think he enter coaches and loco both this is the door inside the machine room there are so many components and uh, these are the vent for air and these are the vent for the air inside the machine room during its operation of working and generate heats so the heat is uh, released to this vent so the next is the pipeline connection for the brake system uh, the coach and loco connected through this hose pipe here is you can see this hose pipe and the coupler permanent coupler and basically two color one is green and one is white so green is for bp and white for ap feed pipe and next is the pipelines you can see this both pipe is entering the coach and here is the fever you can see this fever and this is the coach control unit for the brake system 
here this is the main control unit panel and for the brake system there is two uh, two indicators for both bogey one is the left side and second is the uh, right side in a coach there are two bogey one bogey and two number two bogey so these indicators green means brake is release condition and red means brake is applied condition red means brake is applied condition so in this panel there are so many components but major and most important is DV so this DV is is similar to a company I cannot share the name but the first letter is and then at the back here is two tank for the year and the other side you can see a single tank this tank is completely for FIVA support and these two tanks one is for toilet system and this one for the bogey bogey brakes disc brake system in this coach specially disc brake used this is the disc and the brake system brake assembly here is the brake assembly okay the brake assembly so the disc is mounted in this axle and you can see this completely structure wheel disc axle axle wheel you can see this completely structure and next is the end end part end pipeline you can see this end again the green green is VP and white is AP this connected the next coaches so this is like a loop again the connect the end pipe is connected to the end coach so now you can see the completely coach area uh, you can remind this once again you can see this and you can also remind these two tank one is the small tank 75 liters for toilet system so here you can see this coach area the coach enter the side berth and this is the middle lower upper so only you can see this second related with second class AC coach and third AC you can see this three lower middle upper but here only lower and upper you can see this view also I will make an animated video with uh, re related with this topic you can enjoy that time so now I will share this toilet area this is the toilet area and this is the basin for water system so the pressure is required inside the toilet bio toilet which is called the bio toilet here is this two tank this small for the toilet system okay and inside this bogey the brake cylinder this one is the brake cylinder you can see this and this brake cylinder is controlled by the DV where is DV? DV is this control panel this is the control panel and the all things brake system fever each and everything is controlled through this panel that's why this is called the control panel and the DV is the main part the main brain 
for this brake system when the driver applies this valve where is the valve in this cab view you can see this valve two valve one is for uh, loco and one is for coach coach and loco both so when this valve is apply there are five key position so quickly the DV send the signal what is the next activity so based on the position the DV the DV create or connect the tank air pressure where is the tank this is the tank this tank is finally connect with the brake cylinder and this tank is full of air compressed air and then the brake cylinder inside the brake cylinder generates the pressure and the piston of the brake cylinder come out and apply the brake this is the basic structure also there is a video not only one video there are so many video you can check out so right now we are almost end of this live session so if you if you think this video is helpful then you will share your comment or if you think uh, need more elaboration more more uh, content related with this topic then obviously share your comment so thank you so much if you have any question you can share your comment and I will meet next live session because live session will going on so I will try every week at least one live session for you so definitely share your comment thank you so much okay tada bye bye